It was a stone of the purest blackness. It reflected no light, like a void made solid. Nervous, he picked it up. I can hate you, mighty. Who said that? It was the stone, eager, thirsty. That seemed tempting and terribly wrong. Zenobia was the Emperor's greatest general and a potent witch. But they had been close once, and Renardo wasn't sure he really wanted to be Emperor. Why not capture the core of Sky Ripper instead? It was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. What's the core? said the stone anxiously. Stone bothered him. He hated being told what to do. Wasn't that why he joined the rebellion? Wasn't that why he'd refused to be a soldier? He'd agreed to come on board only if he could freelance. The stone felt a bit clingy. The sage Calaveras had told him where to find the Sky Ripper, a weapon capable of challenging the gods. Even without its armature, the core would still possess great power. He would go there. The moment he landed the Farfarer, Renardo had a rare feeling of regret. It's not too late, he thought. He could turn around and sail for Zenobia's island. He frowned. Wait a minute. He didn't want to kill Zenobia, did he? Sure, technically she was the enemy, but they'd been at sword food school together. They'd never been lovers, but somehow they'd been closer. She'd told him every secret about herself except the biggest one, that she was the Emperor's daughter. No, no, kill Zenobia, whispered the stone. Before it's too late. Hey, hey, a workbench. He could try out his new bling. Renato Smash!
There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. never saw wild gogglers together like this. The toads had to train them not to peck each other to death. So these had to be imperial gogglers. That meant ravens were up ahead. Renato wondered if his future self had commissioned these poles. Platforms were great. Renato wanted one for his house. Follow my nose, thought Bernardo. <laughs> the stone hadn't lied about what it could do for him. With each raven he cut down, he felt a jolt of power flowing into his arm. You're weak, whispered the stone. Are you afraid of it? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. It chuckled. But, but, but it's unstable. It, it will poison you if someone just carry it. And then if you try to use it, it will explode catastrophically. Renardo did not trust rocks that talked in his head. He went onwards.
Of course there was a puzzle. You couldn't expect the transcendent emperor to bury a god's eye in a leather sack where anyone could pick it up. 